Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies. In a video last week, we used iLogic to create a rule that quickly changed the dimensions and joint type of a board used in a woodworking project. In this week's video, we're going to take the rule from last week and make it much easier to use by using iLogic to create a form and improve the user interface. So without further ado, let's open up Inventor, get to that file from last week, and begin making our improvements. Here, we have the component open in Autodesk Inventor. I'll choose the Manage tab, and choose the Parameters icon, and here we can see the parameters that are driving both the dimensions of the board, as well as turning the tenon joint on and off. Everything works fine, all the functionality is there, but we can make this better, and that's what we're here to do. I'm going to go to my iLogic browser, choose the Forms tab, and right-click in the gray field and select Add Form. Now I get my form editor and a preview of what my form is going to look like, and this will update as I make my changes. The first thing I'm going to do is change the form title from the default of Form 1 to Board Options. Next, I can begin dragging my parameters from the left to the right and adding them to the form. I'll also go ahead and add a splitter, and all this is is a divider. Right, drag in my multi-value list for the joint type, and then the tenon dimensions. And then as an added bonus, just to make it look a little better, I'm also going to browse out and grab an image. And guess what? That's it. The form's done. So now that the form's done, I have a button in the iLogic browser that I can click and fire this rule whenever I want. But now, I'm going to create one more rule. This rule will fire the form in one of two conditions. When I click on the I trigger icon, or when this template starts for the first time, we'll use an event trigger for the latter part of this. So I'll go ahead and create a new rule and just add trigger equals I trigger zero and then tell it to go get the form. And what this says is whenever the eye trigger is clicked, fire off the form. Once this simple rule is created, I'll also go to my event trigger and tell it to fire this rule whenever a new document is started. And that takes care of the two conditions when we want to trigger our form. It'll fire when the template starts, or when I click the eye trigger icon right here. Now if you want to get to your eye trigger icon a little bit quicker, go ahead and add it to the quick access toolbar. When you do that, it'll always be right there at the top of your screen whenever you want to access it. Now one more note before we close out this video. If you'd like to take this part, download it, and take a look at it, I've uploaded it to the GrabCAD site at the link listed below. You will have to join the site, but I think once you get in there and take a look, you'll find there's a lot more that you can look at than just this one board. That's it for this video. Have a great week, everybody.